locations for the new first class pre-K classrooms have been announced. Six classes are on their way to the Wiregrass. News 4's Will Polston spoke with educators in our area about what this means for new students. Governor Kay Ivey and the Alabama Department of Early Childhood Education announced the expansion of the first class pre-K program Tuesday. 69 programs statewide will welcome more than 1,200 new kids. Six programs will be implemented here in the Wiregrass. Geneva County Elementary Coordinator Ann Stafford says that the programs are already garnering attention. Each classroom, new classroom, will have 18 students. Uh, Geneva County Elementary currently has 23 on their wait list. Then at Slocum Elementary, they have 41 on their wait list. So uh, not all those students will get in, but 18 of those students will get in as well. Four Houston County programs will accompany the two in Geneva County. The Oathen City School Superintendent Dr. Dennis Coe released a statement to News 4 that said in part, by providing an early start to learning and providing extra layers of support for families, we are confident that these are new additions will provide a long-term investment in the outcomes of our children's education. Though spots are limited in classes, Stafford still recommends all parents who are interested to sign up. I would definitely say as a parent of a four-year-old, if you have a four-year-old that will be four years old by September 1, I would definitely go ahead and get on the wait list whether or not you think you're going to get in or not. Uh, lots happen. So uh, lots of kids may move elsewhere or be dropped from the list because of other reasons. So I definitely encourage those to go ahead and sign up and get on the wait list because there's a chance you could get in. In Geneva County, Will Polston for your hometown news leader. For more information on the programs or how to get your child on the waiting list, you can visit this story on the free News 4 app.